everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a hearing aid by Nano. This is their Sigma Plus um, hearing aid. So let's look at it real quick. Um, some of the key features for this hearing aid is that uh, it's rechargeable. Uh, it lasts up to 16 hours per charge. It also is app ready, so you are able to control it wirelessly using your um, phone app. It has um, background noise reduction, environment sound environment settings, digital sound processing, feedback ca uh, cancellation, and adaptive technology. Other than that, it al is also very low profile and small, so it, it's not as noticeable. And it is also equipped with Bluetooth. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Alright, so this is all that it comes with. It comes with our wall plug, uh, USB-C cable, um, our wireless charging base right here that you plug in and just put your hearing aids on, on, on right here. And then we have a cleaning brush as well. Uh, yeah, this is a cleaning brush. And then we have some ear dumps um, for you to adjust according to your preference. And then we have our beige hearing aids. We also have some uh, a quick start guide, a troubleshooting guide, and our instruction manual right here. So let's test it out. Now let's look at our hearing aids up close. So this is what one of them looks like. We'll go through some of the key features of this hearing aid. So over here, this is our thin tube. And then we have our domes attached right here that you can um, switch according to your size. And then this is called the stabilizer. Basically, you put this inside your ear to um, make sure that the um, hearing aid stays in place. You're able to adjust the stabilizer 
and cut it if necessary. Um, and then we have our microphone right here. This is our rocker switch, the black one right here. It controls your volume, um, so you can go up to increase like that or go down to decrease. Um, you are also able to use this rocker switch to turn on um, and off um, the um, hearing aid. So to turn it on, you would just press and hold the upper portion for three seconds. So let's try and see that uh, green light that flashed. That indicates that our hearing aid just turned on. And then let's turn it off. All right, that it's on right now. So you just long press this and turn it off, right? So now it's in the off mode, and you'll see that when it's in the off mode, it'll glow blue, and when it's in on, it'll glow green. Lastly, we have our charging indicator on the bottom, and you just use your um, charging dock to um, charge it. Um, before the first use, make sure that your... Um, your hearing aids are charged and ready to go. And after that, you can just download the app. So we're going to do that right now. This is our device um, charging. So the again, um, when it's charging, the, the light, LED light in between the rocker switches would be blue. And when they're done charging, it will glow green. So let's connect our um, hearing aids to the Nano Hearing app. Um, you can download it from the App Store or the Play Store and uh, give your app Bluetooth permissions because it does need it to connect to your uh, hearing aids. So let's try to connect it. Let's see if um, it connects while it's plugged in. Now let's try, it seems like it's not, okay, so when I turned it on, all right, so it, you got to make sure that you turn it on, and when you do that, you're going to see both the right ear and the left ear pop up, so I'm going to connect to both of them. So once it's connected, um, it does give you this notification. Um, so we're going to try to adjust which ear this is for. And you can let the aid know, uh, like the app know if it's for the right or the left ear. Um, yes. So you're going to hear a beeping sound from the device when it's turned on. And let's do the same for the other one. So it's still glowing red, it's green, so we're gonna connect it now. It does take a little bit of time to connect, um, so we gotta wait patiently. And once it's connected, we're gonna do the same process. Um, so this is the notification that popped up. Um, just 
quick tip uh, when you try to connect it make sure um, that you long press it and uh, until you hear long press the rocker switch on the top until you hear like a beeping sign sound and this is the beeping that it's gonna um, it's, it's giving a notification for so if you heard that beeping sound you can select which ear it is for and select yes so now my both of my hearing aids are connected so we're gonna test it out this is our home page for our um, app and we have a settings button right here and um, it's showing the battery percentage for the right and left ear and then we also have a sound control tab and a hearing check tab. So before you get started, you would ideally do the hearing check. So let's do the, our, our hearing exam to see uh, what type of, um, how much help the, um, we need and it will adjust accordingly to your test. So let's use, you're able to use um, your nano hearing aids or use a headset or earbuds um, to do your hearing test. And uh, so that your hearing aids can customize accordingly. So I'm going to click the button by using nano hearing aids and um, give it permissions. So this would tell you um, the noise level in the room. Um, ideally, you would want it to be in a very quiet area, like to mid um, quiet place just make sure you adjust uh, check your place and make sure it's a quiet area uh, I'm talking so it's like fluctuating so let's start our test and see uh, what results we get this is a sample test so um, your results will be different
So after um, doing my hearing um, test, I did um, have some troubles with the right ear um, because there was some pairing issues or something, but I wasn't hearing any of the frequencies um, from the right ear. And um, while I know I'm supposed to be hearing, but I wasn't hearing them. So I, um, I unpaired my hearing aid, my right ear hearing aid, and repaired it back again, and I was able to fix that issue. So um, you can also look at any other troubleshooting that you might have to do, and look at their troubleshooting guide as well. And that issue was fixed, so I retook my hearing test. And um, let's see our results. So it will show you on the graph, it will show you like the sound frequencies you might have um, trouble with. So um, it will like rate it based on this chart and then you can um, adjust, it will adjust it accordingly. So let's click optimize. So once you click optimize, it will um, optimize the hearing chart uh, levels based on um, your results. So it says it's optimized. So let's go back to the home settings. And now on the home, the other button that I wanted to show you is the sound control tab. So let's click on that. And over here, you're going to um, see various modes, uh, various tabs right here. So over here, we have our mode tab, our volume tab, our band tab, and more. Right now, the left and right ear is linked. So if you adjust the toggle for the volume right here, they're going to adjust um, on the same rate. But um, you can unlink them as well. So let's look at our mode tab. So we have four different mode tabs. We have an all around and restaurant, TV and outdoor. So it seems like um, it will like over here I have all around for L for my um, left ear and for my right ear I have a restaurant mode. So according to my test results, it it's automatically updating what I need uh, for my hearing aid and it can um, do it individually as well. Now let's look at our band tab. So this is our band tab and uh, this is my settings for the left and let's check out the right. So this is my settings for the right ear. Um, you're able, this, this is what you get based on the test, but you're able to automatically, uh, sorry, manually adjust that as well. And then let's click on more. So this is our loud sound protection or um, compression. Uh, section where you're able to protect your ear from hearing sudden loud noises and you'll be able to pick up quiet sounds better this way and the higher the compression the more stable your um, sound will become so um, it basically higher compression levels give uh, better sound protection so um, let's say I want to do the medium compression of loud sound so uh, it won't be as sudden when I hear them or you can do um, whatever you prefer so you gotta kind of test it out to see um, which one works the best for you lastly I wanted to show you how to take out the tin thin tubes and clean it when there's a buildup um, so you need your cleaning brush tool and they also give you this um, wire as well. So I'm going to loop it to the edge of my cleaning brush. 
and tie it. Once it's all tied, I'm going to twist this. So let's twist this like this. And kind of pull. So I've pulled it. And this is our thin tube. So let's take off the uh, dome. And we're going to try to clean clean the inside with this wire right here so you can feed it all the way through and you can use the brush side to wipe up off any extra earwax that have been built up so that is how you would normally clean your device And that is it for our review for the Nano Sigma Plus. Um, this is a great option if you would like more um, settings and a rechargeable Nano hearing aid. Um, well, that is Bluetooth connected and you're able to use the app to control it as well. Um, one thing that I really liked about it is being able to do the hearing aid so I'm not having, I don't have to guesstimate um what uh sound optimization level i need and um i can um like go off based of go based of the results that I, the uh, test given me and it will adjust it accordingly um i like that you're able to set different modes for both ears as well like separately and um you're able to manually adjust all your uh, modes or your sound compression levels and um, any bands so um, overall this is a really great option um, if you would um, like more features out of the nano um, sig uh, nano hearing aids um, that is it for our review I hope you guys liked it and please check out the description box below if you'd like to purchase this product.